Are your front delts in your upper chest, leg, and behind, even though you're training the shit out of them? Well, there's probably a couple reasons why this is happening. I'm gonna show you guys an upper body superset that's gonna wake those muscles up and take your upper body conditioning to the next level. Stay tuned, let's take this party into the gym. Hey guys, a lot of people just do their chest workout and then they just do their shoulder workout. Not that it's wrong, it's not wrong, it's right. But the body gets so used to doing the same thing, a lot of times you're not stimulating muscle because it's so used to the same routine all the time. Chest, you do your couple, three or four exercises. Then if you're doing shoulders after that, you're not as strong on shoulders as you were on chest. So you do your three or four exercises there. That's probably one of the biggest reasons why your upper body's lagging. So what I've done over the years, and I continue to do now with the people I train with, every couple of workouts, I do an upper body push workout that isolates the upper pecs and the front delts. I superset two exercises, one for upper chest and one for front delt. And I'm gonna show you what those are. So stay tuned. I'm gonna take this into the gym. We're gonna get set up and get this party started. All right, first exercise we're gonna do is incline bench press. I choose to use a machine bench press. I'm on a Panetta incline bench press. You can do barbell, you can do dumbbell. The choice is yours. It's still gonna work either way. I prefer to do this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do reps to failure. My failure number, I don't know, it might be 25 or more reps. But whatever that number is, it's going to be the failure. Because remember, like I say in previous videos, your first set of any exercise, you got to set the par high. You got to get as much blood into that muscle as you can. You want to get that pump started on that first exercise and doing low reps isn't going to do it. You got to use a lighter weight with high reps. The volume is going to put the blood in the muscle. So I'm going to get started here. I got a couple of quarters on here, no big deal, demonstration purposes, but I'm gonna rep this out a whole bunch of times. Controlled reps, muscle engagement, and I'm gonna do partials. I'm not going to lock out all the way. I'm going to do partial reps to keep the momentum going, controlled momentum. And then when I'm done with this, I'm gonna take it over to my first front delt exercise that's gonna be part of this superset. And when I'm done there, we're gonna go back and forth back and forth, probably four or five rounds of this. And that is gonna really light your upper body on fire. So let me get started here. Okay. I'm getting a nice deep stretch, partial reps, and I got my pecs engaged. And I'm gonna take the reps to as many as I can. Most likely it'll go over 25. This is a pretty light weight. It doesn't matter. Just keep the repetitions going. Keep your form and that muscle engagement. You don't want to lock out here. You don't want to lose that muscle engagement. Just keep the repetitions going, partial reps. Just like this. My elbows are pulled back. They're not pushing forward. All of this is isolating my upper pecs. Okay, when I hit my failure number, let's say I'm at failure right now. When I hit my failure number, I immediately go to my next exercise. And for this workout, this upper body push workout, it's gonna be front seated military presses. So follow me over to the military press machine. Okay, I have just a stripped out Olympic bar, 45 pounds. I am gonna rep this out to failure. I use the seated military press because there's no momentum involved there's no trying to use my lower body to help push the weight up with my upper body. This is going to be all front delt work. Okay. And again, I'm not locking out. I'm keeping the reps consistent. Partial reps, almost like a 90% completion. 
and I'm going to rep this out to failure. And I could already feel the burn coming in. I could feel the blood in my chest and I could feel it coming into my shoulders. Okay. What you do now is you would immediately go back to your incline press, whether it be dumbbell, barbell, or machine, it doesn't matter. When you get to that machine or that dumbbell or that barbell, make sure there's weight on there that you can take into the high rep range. You just expended a lot of gas doing these first two exercises. And trust me, you're gonna feel it. Lighten up the weight a little bit. Not a lot, a bit, a little bit to keep the repetition range very high. That is gonna put a lot of blood in your muscle. You're gonna get a pump like you've never had before. I would do this particular sequence, like I said, three, four, maybe five rounds, back and forth, back and forth, and yes, I'd have to lighten up the weight on the bench press. Sometimes I'm down to the bare machine where there's no weight, but the machine still has resistance on it and it's all about getting the repetitions. The barbell here is 45, it's an empty bar, you can't strip it out, but just take it to reps to failure, okay? There's another exercise I like to superset. When I've done, say, four rounds of this, I would go to the front raises, upright rows, just like this. I would do upright rows, and I'd go back to the inclines, and I would stay there, and continue doing inclines to failure. And then I would go to the upright rows and I'm gonna go over there right now and I would grab a barbell and I would do upright rows to keep that blood pumping in my upper body, that upper chest, the front delts. So follow me over to the barbell rack. I'm gonna grab a 20 pound barbell, demonstration purposes. I hold the bar out about six inches away from my body. And then I come up, just like this. And I continue to reps. I don't stop, I'm doing continuous repetitions. Continuous repetitions, this is isolating my front delts. And when I've hit my number that I can't do enough, or I've done too many, where I just can't get any more in there, I would go back to the incline press, whether it be barbell, dumbbell, or machine, it doesn't matter. A lot of times when you come to the barbell rack, you can drop set this. I just used a 20 pound bar as an example. You might want to start at a 40 reps to failure, 30 reps to failure, 20 reps to failure. Then immediately go back to your incline benching exercise, reps to failure. This isn't a weight gain, how much weight this is a repetition game on how many repetitions. You could also start your first exercise on the, on the incline benching doing a drop set and really setting the par high. You pick it. Don't ever do the same things over and over again. Change it up. This could be the first set of drops, three drop sets, reps to failure on each one. Then you go to the, inc um, to the seated military press. 45 pound bar, you can leave that weight the way it is, or if you have it where you can make it lighter, a, a lighter Olympic bar, strip some plates and get it as light as you can go to keep the reps up. You know, go back and forth in that sequence. Then come over here, drop set this, 40, 30, 20. Go back to the bench, do that sequence. Do them individually. Benching, see the military press, benching, upright rows, do that back and forth, back and forth, and I guarantee you, your upper chest and your front delts are gonna get woken up and they are gonna start responding because you're not doing the chest only, shoulders only, especially if you do a chest and shoulder day. If you just do chest first, by the time you get to shoulders, you ain't got no gas in the tank. Or if you start with shoulders first and then you go to chest, you ain't gonna have any gas in the tank. But if you incorporate these two upper body movements, front delts, 
and upper chest, you're really going to blow that upper body up. So you're probably saying, well, what about side delts and rear delts? I would leave that for a secondary workout on another day where I would isolate only the side delts and the rear delts and just do nothing but side laterals and rear delt work and blow the shoulders up two days later. This is a routine that I've done for years. It has worked very well for me and I guarantee it's gonna work well for you. Guys, I wanna thank you for watching my video. Uh, please like, subscribe, share. My subscriber rate is growing at a tremendous rate. Um, no complaints. I thank you guys very much from the bottom of my heart. I also have released training courses at the beginning of January. The training courses are very, very detailed courses that I put a lot of time into. They go from beginner to intermediate to advanced training. I cover all the body parts, chest and shoulders, back and bys, legs, uh, forearms, triceps and calves, reversing diabetes and the keto diet and contest preparation off season into contest day for those people that compete. There's a lot of information. I put my 43 years of knowledge that I gained from my coach back in the day, Bob Gruskin, into these videos and they are big video files. The chest and shoulders file is almost two gigabytes long. So. Go to my Buy Me A Coffee shop. There's a link in the description. And if you join my Buy Me A Coffee membership, you will get 25% off on the body part courses. You're gonna get $25 off on each body part course just by joining on a monthly basis. So I've gotten a lot of great feedback on the courses. I guarantee you guys, these courses will take your training to the next level. If you want that dramatic weight loss and reversing diabetes, Everything is in there. I've covered everything. And for the contest people, I've got all the bases covered. So with that being said, again, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I'll see you guys back in the gym. Peace out.